And I really want to call out Fox 13. Are they here? That you? Shame on your news station. Shame on Adam Hurwitz. That's Utah County Attorney David Levitt. And a, two and a half months ago, upset with Fox 13 News for asking about allegations against him. Rather than answering our questions, Levitt held a news conference to announce he was the subject of a ritualistic child sex abuse investigation that would probably go away soon. But that hasn't gone away. Today, prosecutors talked about the case in court. Tonight, Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herbetz joins us in studio with information about another suspect with ties to Levitt. Adam. Yeah, Bob Kelly, we want to be clear. We never named David Levitt or anyone else as a suspect, and neither did investigators tied to this case. Most agencies don't want to talk about it, but today in court, a judge asked many of the same questions we've been asking. And for that reason, we finally got a few more answers about the direction of this investigation. This is not a politically motivated investigation. The announcement from the Utah County Sheriff's Office three months ago was vague, but it spread fast. A message that detectives are investigating ritualistic child sex abuse across three different counties over a 20-year time frame. I mean, the allegations that are, that are there are so outlandish and so crazy that... Um, yeah, they're, they're just not true. Fox 13 News has chosen not to name any of the suspects at this time, but that did not stop Utah County Attorney David Levitt from naming himself, announcing he is not a murderer, a cannibal, or a child sex abuser. There, there is no organized ring of abuse. It was, it was debunked more than 10 years ago. It was dismissed. He says it was politically motivated, but even his own employees now say they disagree. I would take exception to the suggestion that this is politically motivated. This is about trying to do the right thing for the investigation. Even though Levitt has been the most vocal suspect, he is not the only one. Another figure accused of being part of the child sex abuse was just in court today, trying to get his record expunged. This is his attorney. I think it may be politically motivated. Now the Utah Attorney General's office is assuring people, again, this case is not political. Levitt already lost his bid for re-election, but the investigation is still open. Your Honor, this is the investigative file. So there is um, about a thousand pages of, of uh, information there. But they are not just pages in a binder. This man's story of being a victim of his therapist is in that folder. Hypnosis was a big part of it. He told me that from the very beginning, that that was his main technique. Dr. would say, do you want to be healed of your homosexuality or not? And the answer was yes. Do you think this time it will be different? I do think it will be different. I think in part because I have some information that can connect some dots. This is how Levitt described his relationship with that suspect the man who was in court today. When I was a law student, this therapist was my elders quorum president in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He was my neighbor. I had a family connection. The Utah County Sheriff's Office says more than 130 people have called in tips so far regarding this investigation. Plus, nearly a dozen others who initially planned to talk, but suddenly chose not to. If you have any information about this case, they're still taking tips. Please call the Utah County Sheriff's Office. Live in studio tonight, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.